Hi, I'm Random Trashy and welcome to the channel. So today I've got the Stalker Mark III trousers from Claw Gear. I'm a massive fan of Claw Gear equipment. I use it all the time in Airsoft uh, and Milsim. I also use it for running, hiking. I've got a jacket that I wear every day from Claw Gear. Their equipment is absolutely solid. It does come at a little bit more of a premium rate over some of the kind of Milsim orientated companies, but this is actually solid military specification quality equipment this isn't stuff that's just targeted at a milsim audience you know you get the absolute solid military spec quality from these so just running quickly through some of the features of the stalker you've got a nice padded waistband with a ton of adjustment on there just going to lift this down so it's a little bit clearer move around the back we've got these nice adjustment tabs on the back really nice big thick heavy padded seat triple stitching all the way down through in between the crutch area and around the bum which is probably where most of the rips and tears happen that I've seen on other material trousers. Moving around the back, nice big heavy pocket around the bum and the seat, heavy triple lined, uh, uh, double stitched and then we're all triple stitched all the way around the knee pad and around the back of the leg. You've got a nice knee adjustment on there as well with the velcro straps and then moving down to the bottom of that, you've got a nice big calf pocket on there. Moving back around the front, We've got a ton of pockets on here, we've got a nice zipper pocket at the top of the pant there, um, nice big pocket at the back, huge pocket, um, then I've got a, a kind of M4 style or a magazine pocket at the top, can be used for other things but that's perfect size for that. Moving down to the thigh pocket, we've got a large pocket at the back and then two um, sewn off areas at the front to make two individual pockets down the front of there moving down to an external knee pad you can change these out they are very very easy to swap out if you wanted to and then one of the real nice features of this pair of trousers is um, the internal gaiter which is at the bottom which is really really nice made out of some nice waterproof material so if you did want to you know stick this around your boot it's going to be absolutely perfect from retaining any water dirt silt or anything going down inside your boots which is you know, a real pain at times, you're walking on very thin gravel or anything, you get something inside your boot, it could be a bit of a nightmare. Put this down over your boots, it can stop any water, moisture, stones, rocks, anything like that getting in there. And then also you've got a nice bit of adjustment on this bottom um, of the calf, uh, of the bottom of the trouser as well to uh, make sure that it's nice and comfy around the top of the boot. So it really does seal off the boot, so make sure you aren't going to get anything in there. So one of the things I did want to do um, is a bit of a comparison between this and the Raider trousers. Now, I actually have a pair of Raiders that I've been using for about the last probably 14 months. They've been used and abused and I really wanted to put them up next to the brand spanking new Stalkers just to show how well they've kept their colour. So I'm just going to lift these up here. These are my Mark IV Raider trousers. They have been absolutely used and abused, as mentioned before. They've been through all sorts of weathers, hot, cold, urban, snow, rivers, sleet, dirt everything these have been absolutely hammered and you can just see after about 10 maybe 12 washes how well they've kept their color in comparison to a brand spanking new pair really really good quality material very minimal damage you can hardly tell that they've been worn to be completely honest and they do really do get used one of the big differences between the stalker and the raider trousers is the internal uh, on the raider and the external on the stalker Really comes down to personal preference, which one you're going to prefer as to use, you know, day in day out for your for your trousers. But I do like the internal ones. The bonus is obviously you can't get any grit or dirt in behind the the knee pad. Uh, there is adjustment as well for how high the knee pads sit on the Raiders. So inside the top pocket, just going to grab it here. There is a little toggle like that, um, and with that toggle you can just adjust it so you can see there how. I've just pulled that up and it's just lifted the knee pad up so you can get it absolutely perfect. That adjustment isn't available on the stalkers um, from where they just sit naturally. So that is a really nice feature of these. You can adjust that ride height sort of thing for these. Um, ton of pockets on these. I'm, I'm, you know, it is very similar to the stalkers. I've um, got this rear top pocket, I've got the M4, I've got a nice big thigh pocket and you've got your standard kind of calf or ankle pocket that's on the back of here as well. So tons of storage on both of them, probably more storage than you're ever going to need. Um, to be honest, it really does come down to which one you prefer, kind of an internal or external. They're both made of the same material, they're both going to repel water and all that sort of thing. Obviously the, um, the stalkers have got the gator in the bottom, which is a really, really nice feature. Looking at the bottom of the Raiders, it's just a standard open boot kind of trouser bottom. And then you've got the circumference adjustment on there with a little Velcro strap. And both great pairs of trousers. 
What I would say is trying on both of them with the nice padded waistband. The stalkers do feel very, very sleek around the body. They fit very well. They feel a little bit tighter and a little bit more um, tapered to fit around the bottom of the body. Um, and they do feel a little bit lighter in their construction in comparison to the Raiders. The Raiders feel a little bit more heavier, a little bit more heavyweight, a little bit more um, solid. If I was out walking through rivers, really dense environments, something really heavy where I know the trousers are going to get an absolute battering, I would probably opt for the Raiders. On the flip side of that, you could use the Stalkers in those environments, but just down to you know my experience with these, the Raiders have been absolutely phenomenal for me. The Stalkers, again, do feel fantastic, and I think they would probably do just as good a job in those environments. So it really then comes down to the type of fitment that you want and whether you prefer to go for an internal or an external knee pad. To be completely honest, either pair that you're going to get, you're going to be blown away by the quality. For the pricing of these, they are way better than anything else that I've tried. Now that even competes with Cry Precision and all of the other top tier companies that are out there. And if you stick these next to a set from example, say Semapo, Helicon or anything like that, you can really, they are just miles apart in the quality. That comes down to the stitching, the material used and how much life you're going to get out of them. As you can see, you know, brand spanking new, like 12, 14 months old, tons of usage, they're still absolutely great looking. So if you do have any more questions on these, please feel free to drop a comment in the box below. So if you do want to pick these up, head over to uktactical.co.uk. Um, great, great equipment on there. They do have everything at the full lineup from Claw Gear. If you do see something from Claw Gear that isn't listed on the UK Tactical site, make sure that you give them a call. They do have their full range available. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you all soon.